Makers, and welcome to the May Unit Lab. Today I have a very scientific video for you on how to clean brass. Now, I myself don't know how to clean brass, and so we'll be turning to betterhomesandgardens.com to find out five ways to clean brass with household items. After picking up this cute butterfly from the thrift, I thought, well, wouldn't she just be a beaut if she had a little sparkle to her, huh? And so today, that's what we'll be doing. Stay tuned and let's learn. Before we begin, here is a nice little close-up of the front and the back of the butterfly, just so you can see the tarnish and the dirt that is actually on here. Okay, so method number one will be ketchup. Yes, I said ketchup, and do we know why? Because ketchup is made out of tomatoes, tomatoes are slightly acidic, and the acid will break away at the dirt and grime that is the tarnish. The directions say to just put a small dab on an inconspicuous area, so I'm gonna try a quarter size on the back. It says to let this sit for a few seconds and then wipe clean. BRB. Okay, I waited about a minute and I'm gonna just use a clean paper towel and wipe off the ketchup. Let's see if that did anything. Um, that did absolutely nothing. Zero, zilch actually. So uh, on to method number two. Number two, vinegar. Now, the directions say you'll need white vinegar, a mixing bowl, some flour, and salt as an abrasive. Now, I forgot my measuring cups downstairs, I'm too lazy to go get them, and we're gonna eyeball it. Also, I'm bougie and I only have whole wheat flour, so let's hope this works. One half cup of vinegar that I will be eyeballing. One teaspoon of salt as an abrasive, and then about two tablespoons of flour to make it into a paste, aka thicken it. Get it thick. And we'll be mixing that up, and I'll bring you in for a close up. Close up cam. You see it's a bit liquidy still, so I'm going to add a few more tablespoons of flour to make it more pasty. I think that'll do the trick. All right, directions say to rub our paste onto the brass and let it sit for 10 minutes. Um, I'm skeptical to say the least, but here we go. Okay, show of hands, who thinks this one's gonna work? <laughs> Me either, but let's get a paper towel and do a little scrubby scrub. Well, I'll be darned, makers. I may have been wrong about this one. I'll bring you in for a close up. All right, disregard the chunky whole wheat flour that was left in the crevices there, but uh, if I bring you in closer, you see that line that distinguishes the right and left? That is where the paste ended. So I think if we tried a little harder with this method, it might actually work. On to method number three. This recipe calls for half of a lemon and one teaspoon baking soda. Back to our trusty red bowl, we'll be squeezing this half a lemon into the bowl and then adding our baking soda to make a paste again. This method says we should use a clean paper towel, dip it into our mixture, and rub it on. Seems to be working. I'll bring you in for a closer look. Close up cam once again. 
So this is obviously not as effective as the vinegar, but I do feel like it's making the brass shinier where I scrubbed hardest. Okay, method number four seems a bit of a no-brainer, but we're gonna give it a shot. Dish soap and water. Not even gonna bother bringing you in for the close-up of that one because that's about as much as it cleaned. Um, I don't know who out there has a mechanical arm that's gonna just sit here for an hour and blah blah blah. No, okay, method number five. Last one, let's see. If all else fails, I'm dunking this thing in vinegar and letting it sit for an hour, I'm sure it'll work. Let's stick with the program, program, and complete method number five, toothpaste. Now, if you don't get this one, it's kind of a mix of the other ones we did. Toothpaste, uh, most toothpaste usually has baking soda in it, which is gonna be kind of an abrasive cleaner. And it's just, it's already a paste, so it's easy to rub on. I have here Crest Complete with scope whitening. Probably be better if you just use regular baking soda toothpaste. But again, I'm bougie and this is what the dentist gave me. And that wraps up method number five, the toothpaste method. I get it, it's a little shinier, but still not as effective as the vinegar as seen on this side. So, it's time to pick a method and run with it. Drum roll, please. Brrr. So this took every trick in the book, but I think we got somewhere. You were watching me soak it in 50% water, 50% vinegar, and then scrub the shit out of it with baking soda. What do you think? Final thoughts, Cam. Look at it, it's shiny, right? All right, let's take a closer look. It still has some staining and discoloration. I did the best I could. The issue I was finding is that scrubbing hard with the baking soda was leaving tiny surface scratches and I didn't want to go any further. So the front looks great, the back still has some staining, a lot more than the front. I'm not sure if this was sitting outside at one point, but I do think it's worthy of a new home and a new owner and I think someone will love it. What do you guys think? Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. Bye makers! What the hell? I shouldn't have expect you to know the answer. I don't know much more than that, and that is disgusting. It smells great. Where are my french fries? Where are my papayas?